What's up everyone, welcome to episode 5 of our Zombie Shooter series in Scratch. Today we're going to be adding a wave system to our enemies. So you'll see there I just completed a wave, and here comes in our second wave. So these enemies are going to be spawning much faster, they're going to be a little bit harder to complete. We're also going to be adding a timer to our power-ups, so you'll see I just got a machine gun. And that lasts temporarily, so it's not permanent anymore. Whoa, so those enemies are really fast on wave 5, I'm, I'm just, oh, I just died. All right, we're back in our zombie shooter scratch project, and let's get right scratching. So the first thing we're going to do is add our wave system. Let's go to our zombie sprite, and we're going to be making a block called wave. And we're going to specify speed, health, and the amount of enemies we want in a wave. So let's type in wave, and then we're going to have a dash, and then we're going to type zombie health. So that's how much health the zombies are going to have. Then let's add an input called health. Then let's type add a label. Let's click on it. And we're going to type in zombie speed. And then let's add another input called speed. Let's add a label again. And this is going to be called zombie amount. So how much zombies are going to be in that wave? Let's add another input called amount. And then our last label is going to be called zombie spawn time. So zombie time. And then let's add an input called time. So that's how much time the zombies are going to have in between each spawn. Now that's a pretty long block. I think we're done here. Let's press OK. So that right there is probably the biggest block I have ever seen in my scratching career. Let's get coding. So the first thing we need to do is go to our variables and we need to make a variable called the zombie speed. So each zombie has its own speed. Let's make sure that's for the sprite only. Now let's set zombie speed to speed. And then let's set zombie health to health. We need to make a variable to keep track of how much zombies are in this wave. Let's make a variable called zombies in a wave. Let's press OK. And then how much zombies are in that wave? Well, that's going to be the zombie amounts. So let's set zombies in wave, where is it? Zombies in wave to zombie amounts. All right, now we need to create the zombies. Let's go to control and we're gonna be repeating amounts. Let's go to our control category and drag out creates clone of myself. So that's gonna be creating a clone of the zombie. And then we need to wait a little bit of seconds between each zombie. So we're gonna be waiting zombie time seconds. Okay, so now that we spawned all the zombies, Let's wait a little bit of seconds to give the player a break. And then we need to wait until the player has actually defeated all the zombies until we can go to the next one. So let's wait until zombie amounts or zombies in wave is equal to zero. So now that it is, let's make a new message called broadcast wave completes. So we got through the wave, yay. And then after we broadcast wave complete, let's wait a little bit of more seconds to give the player more of a break to recuperate from those zombies. And then we're good. Now let's go to our when I start as a clone. And we need to remove the set zombie health to three since that's going to be the default. And we already have set zombie health to health. Now instead of move three steps, let's use our zombie speed steps. And now let's go down to here and we need to find if we're touching the bullet. So when we delete the clone, we need to change enemies in wave by minus one, since we successfully shot a zombie. Now that that setup is complete, let's go up and let's remove this horrid forever loop. We're gonna be using our clean and shiny and long custom block. I need to actually move this out of the way so you can see it all. So when we start the wave, our zombie health is going to be one. Our zombie speed is going to be, let's, let's do two. We're going to spawn 20 zombies and the time in between each zombie is going to be 0.3. Let's test this out. Now I'm gonna shoot each one. I probably have to change the time to be lower since a lot at once but I'm gonna get my machine gun and destroy that wave now the player probably doesn't know that the wave is complete let's show that on the screen for him let's make a new sprite and let's call it wave complete Oops. and I just got a new, a new keyboard so I'm sorry if it sounds pretty loud so let's switch to the text tool 
and we're going to be typing on the screen wave completes and I'm gonna move it to the center and making make it a little bit bigger let's go to our code and we're going to be setting it up when green flag is clicked let's go to zero zero to center of the screen and then let's hide since we don't want to show the wave is complete when we first start the game now when I receive wave complete well we need to show so let's go to the looks category and drag out show and then let's wait a little bit of seconds maybe one second and then let's hide again there we go i'm gonna go back to our zombie sprite and change the amount of zombie time so let's change this to one let's see if we can take out this horde of zombies there we go that's pretty easy they're coming at me really really slow so there we go wave complete and then it hides again so there goes our first wave now it's up to you to add as much waves as you want so we just have to duplicate this let's say you want to have 40 zombies you can type in 40 you want them to spawn faster well let's type in point two you want them to have more health go crazy let's move on to the next part of this tutorial we're going to be adding a little timer to show how much time we have left on our power up let's go to our player sprite let's go to motion and let's drag out if on edge bounce and we're going to be putting that after point towards mouse pointer okay let's go to our power ups sprite we're going to be setting up our power up timer let's go to events and drag out broadcasts we're going to be making a new message called health power up so once we collect the health we need to broadcast health power up and then we need to do the same thing for the machine gun so we need to broadcast machine gun power up now we actually need to draw the timer on the screen so let's make a new sprites we're going to call this timer and we're going to be using an extension called pen so let's click on the add extension button right here and we're going to be clicking on pen there's all these blocks in here the ones we're going to be using in this tutorial are erase all pen down pen up and set pen color to and then set pen size to so i just dragged all these blocks on the screen because we're going to be using them right now let's go to events and drag out when green flag clicks and let's surround this all in a forever loop and we're going to be arranging them as i need so we're going to be moving this pen up all the way to the bottom and we're going to be setting the pen color to let's choose a color for our timer let's set the pen size to 15 and actually let's move this pen up out of here i'm going to be drawing the timer on the bottom of the screen so we need a go to block let's go to x minus 200 and y minus 150. now we're going to be moving our pen down block under this so let's drag this code up now that we've put the pen to the paper let's go to x 200 and y minus 150 so that we move to the right side of the screen and then let's drag in our pen up block when we click on this block you'll see that we have something drawn on the bottom of the screen surprise let's right click and duplicate this set pen color to block and you'll see it duplicates all of the blocks below it that's exactly what we need so let's put this below penned up and then let's set the pen color to something else i want blue let's set the pen size to eight so now we have another little line inside of our bigger line now we need a variable called power up time so let's make that now i'm gonna call it power up time instead of minus 200 we're going to be using power up time times minus two power up time times minus two now instead of 200 we're going to be using power up time times two and to actually see this on the screen let's show a power up time variable let's right click on it and press slider now let's move it up to 100 let's move it down and that is awesome so you'll see that the timer reacts to how much power up time we have we're going to be coding this inside of the stage events and drag out when i receive machine gun power up so when we receive machine gun power up let's set our timer to 100 let's go to control and drag out repeat until and we're going to be repeating until power up time is less than zero so power up time is less than one 
change power up time by minus 0 0.5 and then after we're done let's make sure power up time is actually zero let's set our gun back to pistol since that is our default gun before we test this out we need to go back to our timer and we need to set power up time back to zero and then we only want to draw the timer on the screen if we have a power up so let's go to control let's drag out an if then we're going to be putting this over the whole script except the erase all block. Now let's go to operators, drag out not, and then equals to, and we're going to be making sure our power up time is not equal to zero. So if we don't have a power up, don't draw the timer at all. Let's press the green flag and let's test this out. I'm going to collect this machine gun. You'll see the slider shows on the screen. Boom, I'm taking out all these zombies with my machine gun. And then I'm going to keep on shooting until our gun switches back to our pistol. Awesome, guys. So that's it for this tutorial. If you want, you can add as much waves as you want. Add more power-ups. Make sure to smash subscribe and like on this video. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next tutorial.